Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Oakland A's Baseball here at NBC Sports California. I'm Glenn Kuyper. A's are 7-4 and four coming into tonight's action. They got a half-game lead over the Houston Astros in the AL West. Big reasons for the early season success for the A's. The bullpen's been great, and the defense has been great. Now let's bring in Dallas Braden. And Dallas, if those two things continue and this A's team starts to hit a little bit more, I think they're going to be really tough to beat. And I think you're right, Kype. And those are a couple of the mainstays that I think Oakland fans have been treated to and have really gotten comfortable and started to expect. A great pitching performance by El Problema last night, but the athleticism on display, fielding his position, and we know about gold all throughout that infield. Marcus Simeon, Matt Chapman, and the big fella not only on the back end of a lot of those plays was on display last night. And after some timely hits, guys, you turn it over to a bull pin to lock it down and that has been a bright spot for the Oakland A's right now just exuding dominance top five in ERA and whip in all of baseball and you've got the hammer Liam Hendricks to lay it down at the back end you gotta like what you're seeing so far Kyle. and let's not forget about the starters they've been pretty good as of late as well and Sean Manaya gets the ball tonight Dallas we're scratching our heads over Sean Manaya's first two starts this year great in the first three innings and then things kind of fall apart after that what do you see it's about navigating those first three innings and remember what those look like, what that feels like. It's that second and third time through the order that a lot of pitchers are aware of, and sometimes you try to nitpick and finagle your way around the strike zone. He has the ability to attack. I'd like to see him tap back into that mentality. All right, so Manai, and for the Texas Rangers, a right-hander, Glidoff hitter, and then Andrus, Gallo, Frazier, Chirino, Solak, Falefa, Ref Snyder, and Heinemann, and that is the Texas Rangers starting lineup and Sean Manaya is ready to go and the first pitch of the game is drilled to left center and that is gone. Shin Su Chu first pitch of the game he hits out of the ballpark. Through those next innings innings four five six and you can see their record 0 and 2 he's kind of stumbled out of the gate in those first two starts. But that's why I mentioned at the top A's will have Grossman, Loriano, Piscotti in the outfield. Chapman, Simeon, Kemp, and Olsen on the infield. And Austin Allen is your catcher tonight. So after the home run, back-to-back -back strikeouts of Anderson Gallo. When you like to. Chapman, Canna, Grossman. Piscotti, the hero last night, and he's starting to heat up. And then Kemp and Allen, that's your athletics starting lineup. And let me face in Kyle Gibson, who had himself a nice Christmas last year, signed a three-year, $28 million deal to join the Texas Rangers. Former first-round pick of the Minnesota Twins. Spent 10 years with the Twins before making the move to Texas. And he's actually making his second start this season. Had a couple off days for the Texas Rangers. Chu, Heineman, and Gallo in the outfield. Heiner Falefa, Andrews, Solak, and Frazier on the infield. And Robinson, Chirinos. Catcher.